Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, I even just opened my green screen right now because I've been doing this at nighttime. Holy dudes, let me tell you, man, this is the first time I've ever completed a league SBC in FIFA. And let me tell you, holy crap, what a tedious thing to do. Wow! I needed to do it because it's Nakajima, boys. You guys know how I'm playing FIFA now. You know I gotta use those, those FC Porto players, you know what I'm saying? And... Let's just, uh, you know what? I have to mute this part right here because, oh, I have to pick. Hold on. Let me just, let me pick slowly here. Okay. Liga Noj SBC reward. Okay. This card looks, looks pretty decent, by the ways. He looks pretty decent. He also has the four star weak foot too. So I'm kind of interested in getting him, uh, but I could just get him in the future too, right? Because he's always going to be there. I need to have money for the future for footmiss just in case they release any um interesting players in those could be quidditchman now who knows right your boy needs the money for him but the one that i need to get is this boy right here ladies and gentlemen na ka -ajima. okay they did the league of Noja spc you know they do they do stuff like this you know they're trying to they're trying to rub me in a certain way you know what i'm saying they're like oh inceptions i'm just i'm really just I'm really just like being an idiot right now, but I'm just oh, Inception's doing a Liga Noj and uh, Portuguese type team, man. He's me, he kind of you know he's an FC Porto guy. Oh, okay. Let's just make sure we put a Nakajima in there, yeah. Let's put a Nakajima in there. It's mine now. I got really excited initially about this card, and then I thought, I'm like, oh, gameplay, right? But we're playing FIFA a little bit differently now. I'm not really thinking too much about the gameplay. I'm kind of thinking more in regards to the fun aspect of the game, right? I'm trying to like, or the fun aspect of like making different teams, trying to have players, you know, that I generally like in real life. Nakajima, we're gonna go ahead and take him out from this. In regards to his actual card here, it just looks beautiful. I mean, guys, look at that, you know? We almost got some special versions for most cards. Need to roll to the final other melee town, right? Longley, Terstegen, need to go, De Jong. De Jong, the whole thing with De Jong, right, is I can do that whole situation where I do this. Uh, and then for this, I would do that. And then for this, I would do this, right? And then I can do this whole situation where I can take out De Jong and put Batalia in, right? Um, and I think that would work out really nicely as well because get, he gets the, the the double link there with Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, I'm also going to give him a sniper card. Obviously, going to be locking in the pace, but obviously, I try to aim for more responsiveness in regards to gameplay now. So, um they're trying to they're they're trying to rub me the right way right now because it's kind of like it's kind of like building towards it you know. Juan Felix has recently came back from injury, so that's a really good thing because I need him to start performing because I need to start making my team and you know making it usable at the very least, right? So Nakajima's car, let's take a look at it. He's got acceleration, sprint speed, finishing eighty two. So right off the bat, I do want to improve the finishing. I think what I'm probably going to do mostly. Because I think a sniper would be a waste since his dribbling is is pretty decent in those regards. 84 composure is kind of low. Would I like to increase it? Yes. But it is pretty responsive. But I want to make it even more responsive. So I'm going to do the same thing I, that like I did to Mbappe. I believe it is a marksman to give him the physical boost as well. Which I do not have. How do I not have marksman? Wow. I don't have marksman. Marksman's the one that's like physical shooting and dribbling. Yeah, so I want to give him the physical shooting and dribbling boost. I'm going to go do that right now, actually, just so we could see what it actually looks like on him. Oh, we also have another pack. So let's go ahead and open that and see what we do end up getting. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set up in game. He's going to be replacing Gonzalo Gedge. Now, the thing about replacing Gonzalo Gedge, I don't know why. Ooh, that's really slow. What is that? Oh, Sigurdsson. Um, so... The thing about Gonzalo Gedge is that I could potentially use him in the right mid position because he is kind of usable, but I do like him when he's on full chemistry, right? So the fact that he isn't on full chemistry, it's kind of like a little bit whatever for me, right? So um, I was I was thinking about using him from time to time. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they give like Saravia from FC Porto like a foot miss card. Who knows, right? Because if they do, I can fit in Corona, right, in this 4-5-1 formation and fit him in perfectly because... Ether Militao uh, gets that link up right there with Alex Tellez. Long Lay already gets the green link, so I would just put Corona in that right mid position with uh, Saravia. Europa League is this week too, so I'm kind of curious to see how FC Porto is going to do. 
right? Uh, obviously, would love for the boost with Corona because they would increase his dribblings maybe by like ones or so. Uh, but then they would also increase his shooting, which is obviously very important because he does play on the side. So because he plays on the side, pace for me is important, right? He doesn't play the cam position, so I, I would that would be an ideal situation for me. So hopefully. I think they have two games left, right? So it might be this week and next week. I'm not really sure exactly how the scheduling works. But, um, yeah, hopefully they can win the, the last two games. It's all a, a matter of chance. Uh, but as you guys know, it's an FC Porto player regardless. I now have Nakajima, Alex Tellez, and Corona that have special versions of cards. So now it's just a matter of, like, building towards the future. You know, like, maybe Pepe, uh, Pepe gets one in the future. Uh, Danilo Preda, uh, I think, will we'll probably get one, too. Potentially Iker Casillas if he comes back in the game. I'm not really entirely sure. But uh, the team's looking okay. Uh, I do want to, you know, try out Bruno Fernandes on a sniper card. I do want to put him in that striker position. I want to give the marksman to Nakajima. Because I just want to see what it looks like with the marksman. I know I, I like to see things live. I can obviously see it from Dembele's thing. I want to see how much these cards cost, because some of these chemistry styles, they cost quite a bit. So I'm kind of curious how much this is actually going for. 950, 450. Okay, so it's not that expensive, which is great. Not that expensive. It's all about just, like, increasing the dribbling as much as possible. I can literally get this for, like, 150 coins. Which is really interesting, actually. So we'll go ahead and take that. I just like to... I don't know if you guys have seen the videos, but I, I like to increase the dribbling as much as possible. Because... I want my players to be as responsive as possible. The reason why I'm still giving him the dribbling, even though he's like five foot five, is because, like I said, I just want the responsiveness, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give him the marksman chemistry style here, because I want to see what happens to him when I do it. Because I, it, some of the physical stuff they give him is pointless, but look at the dribbling and stuff that they give him, right? So they give him a plus five in reactions, plus five in ball controls, plus five in dribbling. So those are those are still like massive, massive things. But then I think the biggest thing is that they still give him very good shooting boost, like very, very good shooting boost, right? Uh, and then they give him plus 10 jumping. So even though he's 5'5", five five, you know, trying to win the ball from time to time wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Also, he has 72 aggression with this chemistry style, which is obviously very nice too, considering that he's going to be moving around the pitch uh, very, 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 very quickly. Um, but yeah, Batalia, I could do him in the future. Maybe what I could do is like build him up slowly and then at some point in the future get his card the only reason why i'm not in a rush to get him is because of his agility and balance like de Jong has agility and balance so his movement is a little bit more quicker and because william carvalho is not the quick type of cdm to have in my 4-2-3-1 setup i like to keep de Jong because of that very reason but if again if danilo Pereira got a card i would sacrifice i wouldn't care i would get the card right but so far it's just a matter of three players left i can get like luis figo in the future uh, center back, I could just get a, a, a center back I admire, like Maldini is one of my favorite players of all time. So I could put Maldini there. Goalkeeper, uh, maybe like if Rui Patricio gets like an inform or something, I think he could potentially get an inform. Then that could be something really cool. But this is how the team is going to be lined up. Um, we do have 229k to work with, as well as buying and selling some Liga Noche players that I bought that were extra from bids, which I can now sell for buy nows. Um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to try this team. We're definitely going to be trying it out probably today. If you guys are watching this video live, we might be live a little bit later. And um, yeah, we'll just take it from there, guys. Now it's just a matter of like, it's just a matter of like the type of cards that EA release, right? Because Gonzalo Gedge, like I'm looking at Gonzalo Gedge, right? If I put him in that left mid position or that right mid position, right? See, that's the thing, right? If I put him there, he's still very usable. He's still very usable. But I just, for some reason, something on the inside of me doesn't like that he's on, I think, 8 chemistry or 7 chemistry. I think you could get him on 8 if you get the Liga Santander as well. What league is this? Liga Noj. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of like looking at this card. I don't know, it just it doesn't feel right. If I were to get Luis Figo, though... I think Luis Figo would be perfect. And then he gets the Portuguese links, direct links as well. He doesn't even need it, but... It would still be really nice. I'm kind of like thinking of like other players here too. Like center backs, I wish they had Ricardo Carvalho in this game. If they still had Vitor Bahia, I'd try to get Vitor Bahia too. I do I do want to say one thing. I do 1,000% regret not doing the icon swap. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do hate EA for making the game that way. Because if I go on Call of Duty, there's never content that I miss out on. Whenever I go on that game, I just have to grind to, towards getting that card. And now that I can't get the Ruby Kasha because those specific objectives are gone and you can't get them, 
it's just like it's season based it's just i don't know i don't like it i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like it it should just remain there right because what if in, at some point in the future i do want to end up getting the card right like and then once it's completed then you removed it but i mean it is what it is because ruby kasha's prime card would fit that striker position perfectly and then i would have some pretty solid players in my team right because ruby kasha's prime card would already have pace beforehand and if i give him a sniper he would be really nice too so it is what it is, though. It's 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 how EA, you know, decides to create their games. I don't agree with the, at the very moment concept or or content. Like they they're gonna do that for like, cause like scream cards, right? Scream cards like a Hulk card. I missed out on a Hulk. Now I can't get the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they still have scream cards you can buy and then blah blah and take it from there. But, you know, Rui Costa. Now I can't get him. I wonder how much he actually costs, as a prime card. Um, even though, to be honest with you, his mid-tier card, really bad in my opinion. Uh, but he was usable. It's He's really bad, but he's usable. Does that make sense? Like, Because in FIFA, it's all meta nowadays. I just searched it up and I deleted it. In FIFA, it's all meta nowadays. So I look at it from that point of view. You can't even get the Rui cost on the market. He's only from that SPC. That makes it, that makes it even more annoying. You know what I'm saying? Like... Oh, that irritates me even more. Maybe in the second season they put out a new, a nice Portuguese player. Who knows, man? If it's a Zebu, I will grind the Zebu. Like I'll do it in a heartbeat, which I highly doubt that they'll do. But it is what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. EA are trying to rub me the right way right now with these with these teams that I'm making. Um, the cool thing about this too is is that it's 229k left in my club, so I could decide to do a fun secondary squad with Liverpool players. So stay tuned for that. Maybe that, that might be the that might be the secondary thing we do. That might be the secondary thing we do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.